Hey everybody, I'm back with part two of my 7-inch singles collection. Um, I'm going to be showing some of the rarest and most collectible sleeves in Madonna's collection. So we'll start with Live to Tell. This is the French edition. It has slightly different um, titling or title layout design. You, you can see the back is the same, but the titles are different to the regular release. This is a regular release. This is the US promo um, picture sleeve or US 7-inch sleeve. Same. Some of the promos came in those sleeves. Um, this is the Aussie edition, which is the same as the US, but it's a square sleeve design. Here's the US edition of Puppet and Preach. That's the 7 inch that was released in the States with a single hit number one on the billboard. Um, this is the Australian edition. And then we have the French edition, which reorganizes the titles at the top there, as you can see. The titling all sits at, at the top. The French also did the same for True Blue. So you can see the titles True Blue sitting at the top there of the sleeve design for um, France and Germany. Here's the regular, Austra uh, I think this is the Australian edition, which looks like US edition. The US pressing of True Blue on 7 inch came with a limited edition pressing. Here it says limited edition blue vinyl pressing. Um, that's the back of the cover. Here's the actual disc itself. This is actually the promo version which has two versions of True Blue, a remix version and an LP version, you can see there, but on nice bright blue vinyl. Um, then we move on to the UK pressing. This is the remixed edit version of the song. The sleeve looks a little different and it has a B-side, Holiday on the B-side, rather than the um, song Ain't No Big Deal like the rest of the world. This is another French edition or a German edition with slightly different titles. So then we move on to Open Your Heart. This is also the remix. So it features a remix edit version of the song. It has Lucky Star on the B-side there. Um, in France, once again, they've redesigned the cover. Different titling and the image has been zoomed out. So you see more of Madonna. The back cover looks pretty much the same. This is the Aussie edition, I think, or the US edition. It looks pretty much the same. Um, yeah, both of the sleeves were released in pretty much identical covers there of the Australian and the US edition and in most territories around the world you open your heart and had the same cover. La Isla Bonita had a nice little cover there you can see in the back there. In England it came with a, a remix edit of the song and an instrumental remix edit on the b-side there. This is the Australian version which is virtually identical to the US but the, U, the Spanish promo is totally different so this was released in Spain it's absolutely beautiful edition. Um, the French also had their version. It features a yeah, different, slightly different cover with the titles up top there, like the other French editions. And I think this is the US version of the 7 inch single, which looks the same to most territories. Then we have the Thailand promo. So the Thai promo of Lays La Bulgita came in a paper sleeve, you can see there, and Puppet and Preach was placed on the B-side there, you can see some of the promotional writing there in um, Thai. That's a really cool version. Um, and something I hadn't discovered till just recently, Where's the Party was actually released in South Africa in a promo form. So this is a sleeve, or the die cut company sleeve. Promo only, Where's the Party on the A-side, and then Puppet and Preach on the B-side. So it was sent to radio stations. Um, they are so rare. Very few of these items exist, um, and they are quite expensive. To buy. Where's the Party was also released in the Philippines. We love Don't Leave Here Anymore on the B side. That was released without a picture sleeve in the Philippines, but it was nonetheless released as a single, which is pretty cool. You want to try and track that down. Um, another single that was only released in some territories is Spotlight. Now that was also released in the Philippines. There's the edit version and then Where's the Party remix on the B side. So that was released as a a uh, single in the Philippines and also as a Spanish promo. This is a Spain promo version of Spotlight there with a nice black and white sleeve. Then we move on to Who's That Girl? So Who's That Girl? That's a standard cover. You get in most territories. I think that's Australian edition. This is the US picture sleeve. Um, and uh, yeah, the, it has a track. White Heat on the B-side. Her next single was issued in promo form on 7 inch uh, in the States and this is the uh, remix edit that was on the B side or the flip side of the promo. You can see there, movie house edit. 
um, that was on one side of the disc and the other side I think had the LP version. That was pretty cool. Um, this is the pretty rare edi badge edition or the badge pack for Cousin and Commotion. And the first few copies was, were shrink wrapped with a little badge attached to the sleeve. You can see that sort of matches the design. They're pretty hard to track down. Um, most people will throw, use the badge or throw away the shrink wrap. Um, here's a US edition and I think this is the Aussie version of the single which are almost identical. Then we have the next single, The Look of Love. This is a nice French edition which has a nice red background and, a, and on the flip side a white, white sleeve, slightly different title design. This is the regular UK release, really nice picture sleeve. Um, features a track listing, same track listing as French. Then we've got the uh, number one smash single, global smash single of Like a Prayer. Comes in this nice uh, picture sleeve, I think that's the Aussie version. Here's the US version, or US promo version. Um, the, the record itself had two versions of Like a Prayer. So it had a, an edit version or seven inch remix version. And then on the other side, uh, has the, another remix or seven inch remix edit. One was a fade version and another one. So they were both remixed by Sheffield Bay. Um, this is a regular release, I think, released in Europe. Um, then we have the uh, next single, Express Yourself. That's the German pressing, I think. Then we have the US edition. Uh, it comes in a nice picture sleeve. These are pretty hard to find. So Express Yourself and Cherish are actually really difficult to find in picture sleeves. They had very few of them. The disc itself had a remix edit. So there were two mixes of Express Yourself on, on the disc. Um, and very few of them actually came with their picture sleeve. That's the promo version you're looking at too. One of the nicest editions of Express Yourself is a zipper pack you can see there. So this actually has a working zipper. So if you unzip the pack, um, you'll reveal the single Express Yourself, which comes out. This is been kept, still, it's still sealed in its original condition. They're pretty hard to find nowadays. Here's another limited edition. This has a um, fold-out poster of Express Yourself, also released in England. So England released two editions of the 7-inch single, the zipper pack and the poster pack, and they're both pretty rare. Cherish released in France, just changes the titles and had the title sitting up in the top corner there. The Spanish promo of Cherish was really nice, totally unique sleep with lipstick, someone applying lipstick. A little bit of information there about the album and the single Cherish with some promo jargon, but that's pretty cool. The seven inch single comes in this sleeve. Once again, uh, I think this is the Aussie uh, sleeve. This is the US seven inch. Now it's a pretty cool sleeve because very few of them did come in a picture sleeve in the US. Um, other countries in Europe had a picture sleeve, but not in the US, so very rare. And the promo version has two versions of the song as well, an edit and a fade version or, or something like that. Slightly remixed version, so they're pretty cool. Oh Father. That's the next single that did not come in a picture sleeve in the US, unfortunately. But in France, luckily they created their own sleeve design and this is really cool. It's got a nice image there um, and it has a song, Pray for Spanish Eyes on the B-side. That's a really nice collectible. Then we move on to Dear Jesse. So that was a single in the UK and also in uh, released in some parts of Europe and that had the song or the track Until Death Do Us Part on B-side, which is a really good track. We now move on to one of her rarest picture sleeve singles, Some Reason. Um, Keep It Together was released in a very limited supply in a picture sleeve in the US. Much like Cherish and Express Yourself before it in the US, those picture sleeves were not available to the public for very long. You would have to afford the very first copies and for some reason Keep It Together is virtually is one of the hardest to find in the US. And they go for quite a bit of money when you do find one. Other releases were released in plain white sleeves and were pretty boring in comparison to that really nice picture sleeve being a US single. Here's a Dear Jesse um, Spanish promo. These came with a specially designed title sleeve. Keep It Together was treated to the same promo edition for in Spain. Not released as a single but it was also um, treated as a promo. Yeah, that's a nice sleeve. And then we've got perhaps one of the most interesting releases, the song Pray for Spanish Eyes, not released as a single anywhere else in the world, but Spain sent it to radio stations for radio airplay, so that was interesting. So then must have been a bit of a popular song in Spain, and that's the Primo Spanish 7-inch. 
that closes my video for Madonna 7 inch singles part 2. Stay tuned for part 3 and if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned for more great Madonna videos.